Hi guys, welcome to another episode of SugarMD, YouTube channel for diabetics. Today we are going to talk about apple cider vinegar. If you haven't asked this question before, at least you must have heard somebody talking about it, about its benefits about diabetes, benefits about weight loss. Is that real? Let's talk about it. So guys, apple cider vinegar. So there's a lot of things out there. Of course, apple cider vinegar is on the shelf in the market, supermarket, right? You can go buy that. You can buy apple cider vinegar gummies, you know, some people who hate the apple cider vinegar. And then they kind of hope a lot of things to come from this apple cider vinegar. So what do you really expect from apple cider vinegar? Let's talk about the benefits first. So apple cider vinegar, that is true. It can help with the weight loss. How does it do that? So primarily, most people will consume apple cider vinegar who want to lose weight in a, a glass of water. They will put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, for example, and they can put some lime juice or lemon juice, whatever, to make it taste better. And they typically drink it before the meal. And to be honest with you, if you're drinking a glass of water every time before the meal, you're going to end up eating less. But... The acetic acid in the vinegar also makes you feel fuller, faster. And also, apple cider vinegar can actually slow the emptying of the stomach, which also helps because then you're going to stay full longer. Now, we never recommend taking apple cider vinegar by itself because it can really cause a lot of harm uh, on your teeth and so forth or in your stomach. We'll talk about it in a minute. But if you're having apple cider vinegar, either having a glass of water before the meals or uh, have it in your salad. I love apple cider vinegar and lemon as a dressing on my salad. And I believe that is the best way to do it. I'm not a big fan of making drinks that doesn't taste very good. I'd rather use apple cider vinegar in a tasty way, and I love eating salad. I eat salad almost every dinner, and I think that's the best way to do And actually, I eat salad sometimes twice a day. I typically order some sort of salad for my lunch as well. So I think that's the best way to do it. But it uh, definitely helps with the weight loss. It also helps with the cholesterol. If you have high triglyceride, for example, that can definitely help that. There's a lot of healthy bacteria that comes with apple cider vinegar and these are probiotics and as you know you know instead of buying expensive probiotics uh, you know you can just use apple cider vinegar on your dressing uh, on your salad dressing or you know just drink uh, uh, once or twice a day that can also help greatly now does it really help with diabetes well the studies show that there are benefits but it's very mild modest whatever you call it um maybe five percent change in your fasting blood sugars and so forth i mean it may not be necessarily the greatest anti-diabetic help out there but given that there are so many other benefits you know the heart benefits cholesterol benefits the probiotic benefits and actually, I forgot to mention there is antibacterial and antiviral benefits. So it boosts your immune system. So it helps fight infections as well. So since there are so many other benefits as a diabetic and you know your immune system is not that great, you know that you're susceptible to infections, you know your cholesterol may not be the best. So I think apple cider vinegar kind of fits a nice space there in your treatment. Uh, again, it's not a miracle thing it is just another way of taking care of yourself you can call it a supplement to your diet you know and i think at the end of the day that's what you want you want to surround yourself with healthy food and healthy things and healthy lifestyle nothing is miracle you have to we have to learn to get to the healthy lifestyle eat healthy drink healthy and control your diabetes that way. Now, after we talk about these benefits, let's talk about the potential harms. So if you are, again, having it in a shot form, like you just drink it by itself without any dilution, that can really cause significant harm to your teeth because it's extremely acidic. The acetic acid in the apple cider vinegar can really be harmful to your teeth. 
and also your stomach especially if you have stomach ulcers or if reflux disease and so forth you have to be very careful when you're consuming high doses of apple cider vinegar now who else needs to be careful if you have advanced kidney disease too much of this apple cider vinegar because of the acidity can be a problem because your kidneys may not be able to get rid of the acidity that is already present in your system and if you add more load to a system that's already overloaded then the acidity level in your blood may go high and definitely that's not going to make you feel good i think overall it's a good thing to add to your diet i love apple cider vinegar especially on my salad please remember to share this video write a few comments and give a like guys thank you very much we'll see you in the next one